Hi, ladies and gentlemen, my dear fellows. How are you today? Huh? Did you have a good day? Okay, so last time we were, I will continue from the last class on my previous video. We were trying to write the first program of our C language, right? We were writing, trying to write the first coding. I didn't realize that it was getting dark because that video I was making was outdoor. Yes, under the sky. And I didn't realize it was getting dark. So um, maybe last 10 minutes of the video, you couldn't see what I was writing. So I, real, um, I decided to continue from those last 10 minutes and we will write our first uh, code of our C language. Besides that, you must be looking the rest of the screen. That is my computer screen I'm sharing with you. And you must be looking, hello, I'm here. I'm here. You must be looking at me. So little window on the side. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm just. Usually you see on people are recording their videos, their computer screen only. To me personally, if I want to research and I want to watch a YouTube video, and if I see only a recorded screen, it gets boring for me. Very boring. And then maybe I will watch only five minutes and I will switch it off, <laughs> close it. So that's why. Today, whole day, I was researching and trying to make plan that what must I do so I can have some interaction with you. I can keep talking with you. You can look at me and I can show you my computer screen at the same time. So it took me, it was such a challenging day. It took me some time to learn this everything. So the first challenge was my laptop. This is my laptop. My laptop built-in webcam was not giving a good result then i was researching how to make my how to connect my cell phone and use cell phone as my webcam and i succeeded on it so currently this is my laptop i am not using the webcam of laptop i am using the video of me is coming from my cell phone screen which i had to do lots of research and learn myself today so that was my own learning to teach you so this is very interesting i am enjoying this teaching sessions these lessons because while trying to teach you something, I'm also learning, right? So then the second challenge of the day was I haven't done it ever before. So this today was the first time I was trying. So second challenge was I want to record my screen because I want to teach you how I'm writing the code of the C language. So that one challenge was to record the screen. So at one point I could I was able to record the screen. Then the challenge number three of the day, the third challenge. The challenge number three of the day was how to record the both my video plus the screen and combine them together. So at last, I done it. Guys, I done it. This all happened because of your love, because you are watching my videos and I wanted to deliver something nice. So I hope you will enjoy this video because you will be able to see me. You will be able to see me how i'm writing the code and you will be able to see my computer screen Act, uh, i mean most of the uh, part of today's video screen you can see that is actually my laptop screen you can see i am little on the side and rest of the whole thing is the my laptop screen so now let's start remember i promise you on my previous video that if you have any difficulty first tell me tell me on this under the comment section, tell me, did you try to download the Turbo C++? Did you? If you did not try, comment. If you tried, comment. Comment on the screen. Comment on the under my video. On the YouTube, please comment. So I know what's going on. Are you only watching or are you trying to practice also? So tell me. How many of you must tell me if you try to download and install Turbo C++? Or if you did not try, you must tell me. Or did you try to write the code? Tell me. If you tried and you could not win for some reason, this is you. So though for those who tried and couldn't come right, that's why I'm making this video. So I can show you from the beginning how to download the Turbo C++. For those who did not watch my previous video, I want to tell them what is Turbo C++. Turbo C++ is a software. We also call it IDE, IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Turbo C++ 
is a software IDE that we use to write the code, the programming of C language. So let's start, guys. Let's start. Let's do it. So first, I hope you do have some basic knowledge of browsing. So I will go on Google Chrome. And then let's go on Google.com. And then some of you might be the Windows users. Some of you might be using the Linux, Unix, Linux. So I, in my laptop is uh, Windows. So I will write Turbo, Turbo C plus plus download for Windows. See, I wrote Turbo C plus plus download for Windows. Lots of options came. Remember I told you that Turbo C++ has been discontinued in terms of its development. I mean the IDE development. Turbo C language is not discontinued. So they don't provide an official download of Turbo C++. There is no any one official website. So lots of people on different websites are offering Turbo C++ download. I Last time I tried this one. Actually I already had installed it. Turbo C++. So just to show you how to download and install, I just now was busy uninstalling, removing the Turbo C++ from my laptop so that I can again try to install it to show you everything from the beginning. So everything I'm showing you, I like this one, developerinsider.co. Let's click on it. This is a website, developerinsider.co. Okay. And then just can you see this button download? Just click on this download button. And then it will start downloading itself. You will see just now on the bottom of the screen. Can you see here? It started download a zip package Turbo C. Turbo C 3.2. 3.2 is the name of the version. Like in the beginning, there was Turbo C. 1, then Turbo C++ 2, 3, now this one is 3.2. Okay, the download is completed. Now we do not need this all browser. We So first let's open where it is downloaded. Show in folder. This is the download. What I will do, I will extract it. It is in a zip package, zip zip format. Zip means it is a, a compressed file. I will uncompress it. I will unzip it. I assume you already have this type of beginner knowledge of using the laptop or a computer. So let's extract all. You can extract anywhere you like to. So it is extracting, it is decompressing everything. All the files inside this download. You can see 74, 80% complete, 99, 100%. So now it's been extracted, but it's not installed yet. It's only uncompressed. Now we will go in this folder. There is this, this file, Turbo C++ 3.2. You can see Windows installer package. Now I will click on it. I will load it. It is a setup. Setup means it is an installation wizard. It will very easily install Turbo C++ for you. You don't have to do worry about any options. Just next, 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 next. Leave everything default. So first screen next. Just accept the agreement. If you like to read, you are welcome to read everything. But I already read in the past, so I know. So I just quickly accept. Next. Install. Now it, it is busy. Installing first some computers in my computer setting. It is asking me the permission to install. I said yes in your computer settings It might not ask the permission So it is busy installing turbo C++ See how fast it was and how easy it was it's already done now Finish and I keep leave it check launch the program. So which means Turbo C++ must launch now after finishing so installation is done. Installation is done. Sorry, my laptop is a little bit slow because lots of data is in there. Lots of things are installed. But it will load just now. Okay, now this is screen. When this screen comes, then 
you just click on start turbo c plus plus there we go guys there we go can you see this all blue screen can you see this is loaded ins installed and now you open already turbo c plus plus congratulations my friends congratulations just follow these all the steps on the video you successfully downloaded the turbo c plus plus and you already successfully installed the turbo c plus plus and now you are ready to write the first coding of turbo c plus plus are you ready are you ready let's do it guys let's do it okay so there is when it opens with some default files don't worry about them i prefer to open my own new file go to the file menu click on new the new file is open just double click on the top of the name so it can become full screen see it is full screen now one good practice is to save it first currently it is set as no name you save it as first program.cpp it's too, too long let's leave it on hello.cpp okay and then okay the file name of your program is saved so every program must have a file name so file name is saved you created a file okay on in this file hello.cpp you need to write your code of the c language remember on previous class i was telling you about the first code of the c language but then it was become dark i will continue from the same code i will write so you can see this is how it looks like this blue screen you can see on my left and top this all is the environment of software of where we can write the code of c language let's do it guys so we will start with include stdio.h next line include conio.h remember what is why i am including this stdio.h it is a header file see when they developed the c language which is a high level language so what they did they wrote for us they write it for us a lot of code a lot of low level code a lot of big code they write for us and packed into many functions excuse me <clears throat> excuse me many functions okay for functions of different purposes as an example if you want to add two numbers or if you want to subtract two numbers you want to display a picture on the screen you want to display your name on the screen you want to wait for the user to enter anything enter a and then to continue the program so for all these purposes for all these tasks they write it already for us a lot of code okay so we this is good thing for us they made our life easy so lots of things we the code is pre written we can just use it which makes our life little bit easy isn't it so same way in this header file stdio.h this is a file in this file there is lots of functions lots of pre written code is there which we don't have to write it again but it is limited also there might be things which we will be writing like currently we are writing our own code okay same way there is some functions in conio.h pre written functions that we can use as an example now let's start writing code this is already you are writing code two lines of code you already written congratulations are you enjoying you are becoming a programmer you are writing your first code in c language guys congratulations i am very happy for you okay so let's continue void main braces op bracket open void okay why i am writing this void main void this first void i'm selecting it this first void means remember what i was telling you what is the mean of this first void the first void means this first void i'm removing the cursor on top of it this first void means to avoid it will avoid that no any nothing of the program no any part of the program that you are writing the code you are writing no any data can go out of the program 
So it is like a tight security, like no data breach. Remember, I'm sure you hear sometimes hacking attempts and stuff or data breaching. So here this void, this void will avoid, I'm giving you with an example, will avoid that nothing can go out of your software. That's the software you are writing, okay? This main, I write. Main is the name of the function, okay? The meaning of the main is the first entry point of the program. As an example, I can write this here. And before this, I can write so many things. Different code I can write, okay? But when I will execute the program, the program will not read the first line or second line or third line or fourth line. Program will not read. Program pointer. As an example, this is the cursor. Cursor I'm moving up and down. The cursor of the program will not read anything from line 1 to line 3, line 4. It doesn't work like this here. It will first look for what? It will look first for main. Because main is the first entry point of the code that you are writing. So first it will find the main and then it will enter. After main it knows that this is where I start to, to read what the programmer was writing the code. So it can turn into ones and zeros and then computer can display the result that you wanted to achieve by writing your code. Now the turn of this last void and I put this in the brackets. To putting it in the bracket is just a syntax. What is syntax? Syntax here you can say in every programming language there are some syntaxes. Syntax means rules. There are some rules to follow. If we will not follow, follow the rules then which means we are making errors. Then computer will not understand what we are trying to talk. In the same way, same way, you need to understand English. If I start saying Urdu, Are kya hal hai aapke? Thik hai aap? Or kya hal hai? Sab thik hai? Aapke ammi abbu kaise hai? So did you understand anything? What I was saying? I was talking in a different language which you did not understand. Same way, why? If I want you to understand what I'm trying to say, I must follow the rules. What is the rules here? You understand English, so I must speak in English. Same way, if I don't write this bracket, I remove this bracket as an example, then what will happen? Computer will not understand because I'm not following the rules. Computer will not understand the language that computer is supposed to understand. The C++ compiler will not understand what the programmer, what the code is trying to speak to computer. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the rules, which some, there are some rules to follow. So this is a syntax. So that was the meaning of syntax, rules. Okay, and in the middle, this void means nothing will come inside the program. So as an example, if something is trying, somebody is trying to hack your program or trying to pass some parameters or trying to pass something, can be any injection, SQL injection. Some, If you are a programmer, you will understand. If you're not a programmer, in easy words, if a hacker might be making an attempt of hacking, in easy word I'm trying to, but this can be used on many different things. This can be used, if I remove the void, I use something else. It can be used on positive ways also. Depends on the use, how you, what are the requirements to write the code. For now, I don't need to receive anything. So rather, I keep my code secure. I keep my code very secure for the security purpose. So this second void means, the second void means, which is under the brackets, the second void means nothing can come inside the program. It will not accept anything inside the program. It will block, it will lock the program. Okay, so this is like a security. Then, as I said, there are some rules. So to start the program code, main was the entry point. Remember, main was the entry point, And then this bracket, this one bracket shows that this is the body of the main, okay? This is the start of the main. As an example, after main, this bracket means open the main. And the second bracket means that bracket is in the end bracket means this is end of the program. So this is the start of the main program, first bracket and last bracket, end of the main function. I repeat, the first cursor means start of the main function. What is main function? This is main function. We write here main. And the last bracket means end of the main function. Now let's try to write something. So because it is our first class, 
let's try to display like let's try to write a code that you are giving instructions to computer to display your name for that we need to use a function the name of that function is printf and rest of all these brackets and the semicolon i'm using are syntax remember they are rules they made this rules we must follow this otherwise computer will not understand if we don't follow rules this inverted commas also rule so inside the inverted commas you can write what you want to display so printf what to print printf inside the printf we can write what you what we want computer to display so here as an example we want to display hello world okay we want to display hello world so hello world we pack into the inverted commas and inverted commas are packed into the brackets bracket before bracket is printf function so printf function is saying to computer to display your hello world right you could replace hello world with anything else then it will display anything else okay now i will compile the code here you can see compile what does the compile do this c language has a compiler what compiler does remember in one of the previous video i mentioned you about the compiler what compiler does compiler is like a translator so this is your c language computer does not understand c language so what computer understand computer only understand one and zero so the compiler of the c language will read your c code first it will check for any errors if there is no errors then it will convert it into one and zeros into the into the form that computer can understand and then it will bring you the result so let's compile it let's check if there is any errors or not compile compile it says success can you see can you see that side my left side it says success it says warning zero there was no warnings it says it also says errors zero there was no errors did you notice it says lines compiled how many lines it compiled 461 total lines compiled okay out of how many files plus minus 461 files so total for 461 lines it compiled but how many lines you wrote look at this on my left top you wrote include stdio.h include conio.h void man void three lines bracket four print f five then bracket close six you only write wrote written six lines but computer had to compile how many lines 461 where that 461 lines came from those header files those stdio.h has inside code what type of code as an example printf so the printf here we like writing one line printf but details of printf code is where in stdio.h in conio.h c o n i o.h do you understand what i'm trying to say that's why it had to compile so many lines now it is asking press any key so our code had no errors congratulations you have written your first code of c language without any errors now i was talking about syntax so let's just for a test let's not follow the rules you just wanted to let's remove these two lines two things comma and semicolon let's see what happens now you want to compile it's saying errors how many errors three errors it giving see in the in the bottom look at this it's saying function call missing because what is the function printf is a function so we are not writing a proper function we are what is missing bracket it is giving you a hint that bracket is missing then on the second line it is giving you a hint semicolon is missing you see it is giving you hint how so let's fix it we can fix our error so let's put it back let's do this now compile again this time you followed the rules the proper correct syntax that's why there is no error this time you see this time it is saying success so so far we write the first code of the c language and we compile it with success now we want to run the code we want to execute the program we want to see the result of this code now let's go on the run and click on run nothing happens you saw there was a window came and 
and it gone which means it actually successfully ran the code run your program but computer these days are so fast so fast it run and display your name and finish you couldn't even see it was that fast program so congratulations you wrote such a fast program but still you wanted to see the result what to do then i will write another code for that i will write g e t c h t what this will do this is an input function the details of this detailed code of this input function is inside c o n i o dot h which you already included if you included the c o n i o dot h it means you can use the functions inside of that file so i want to use the function of get c h what is the purpose of using get c h now if i compile the code with success and then if i want to run the c language code it will execute if there were no errors and then it will actually display your name why it will display your name why it will not just finish the program because program runs and it finishes and then it closes itself why it will stay on the screen and display your name or display hello world or display anything why because you using the function get che what it does it forces the computer to wait for a user to press the any key so your program will keep running because get che will hold it it will force it to wait hold on wait don't close the program wait let the user press any key and then you can close so right after we will press a key it will stop but if we don't press any key it will keep running you understand so this way you will be able to see the result of your code so let's compile again if there is any errors or not excuse me something is happening which is not right let me check what i'm doing wrong okay for some reason my cursor was not working it is still not working i will have to check later why it is doing this but there is a short form of compiling control f9 there is a result control f9 now it is waiting for a key press if i key press it will stop the program currently it is displaying your result see it is disappeared but still let me pause the quickly video and then let me fix it and i will tell you then what was the problem no i rather don't because i am not um, recording from cell phone i'm just a little bit confused because i am recording from this is a software here i'm using different software sorry guys give me a few seconds i want to fix it let me close it rather i closed it everything maybe because my computer is slow maybe i made any mistake so let's run it again it happens when you are writing a code i don't want to edit this video i will show you as is mistakes happens but i want to show you as is i want to show you what i'm going to do okay um i'm closing everything now see after we download it and install turbo c++ it makes an icon here okay now i will click on this icon it will load turbo c++ and now i will whatever i have done already i will fast fast cover it i am starting turbo c++ it is loaded i will quickly go to the file new i want to save the file
this time my name.cpp and I save this file. Now what I want to do quickly quickly, which I already teach you. Include stdio.h include conio.h it was hung up that there was some problem why because at the moment lots of software is running in my laptop uh, screen is busy recording uh, webcam is using from cell phone so so much is stuff going on maybe that's why it was getting stuck or something so i instead of taking too long to fix it i rather decided to just exit the program and start it again okay so we already covered this void main void we already covered this open and close we already covered it printf my name is Nade. okay and then we want to screen to wait for the input wait for the key press that will happen because of get chd otherwise program will run and finish a program runs comes to the main inside the main finish and then it go back to the code but here as i repeat we want to wait because we want to see the result we don't want it to be that fast we want to see what is the result that's why i've used the function get chd so before it can before the program exit it must wait for a key press so let's compile it if there is any error it says no error press any key now let's run it there we go can you see the screen my name is nadir on the top this c turbo c ben tc you can ignore it you can ignore it for now okay it is just showing you that you are running turbo c which is, is sitting on bin and bin is sitting under turbo c3 folder which is on your c drive so this is just the path of where you install turbo c after that is the result of your code and now you are it is waiting it is showing you the answer so congratulations my friends you written your first code of c language and here is the result my name is nadir what is your name huh? your name is yeah yeah oh you again oh where were you my friend i sorry man i forget to mention your name in previous class yes what did you say what is your name tom tom okay let's make a program for tom huh? i like this tom huh? tom is intelligent very intelligent you also are other of the rest of you also very good my good uh, students but there is something about this tom okay so let's replace my name with mr tom are you happy mr tom the whole world will look at your name huh? are you happy now okay so let's change the name nadir to tom let's compile first to check if i made error any error this time so this is happening again it doesn't want to click here no problem let me try alter c so i'm using because this is dos based program anyway it is not a windows based program maybe that's why it was not working with the cursor as i said so much is happening in my laptop at the moment lots of programs are running sometimes they might be conflicting so when you use a you are actually writing the code supposed to be a fresh computer not so many things running only focus on one software and keep writing the code okay so i'm using the keys i'm not using the cursor now compile success uh, short form of alter i'm using alter r alter r will open the menu of run you see and then i will enter on control f9 run there we go my name is tom now have you noticed one thing it is showing my name is nadir and it is also showing my name is tom why we did not write the code to clear the previous run of the program it will also display the previous run but i will keep it like this for now in next classes i will show you that how to clear the result of previous run so as an example previ previous time was my name is nadir now my name is tom now press the key now as an example what is your name stephanie where have you been i was waiting for you not waiting waiting i mean i could feel it i remember my students i could notice that one student was missing you are a good student if you miss the class so please keep watching my videos guys stephanie was she, she missed the whole class just now she popped in oh, oh. okay let's write stephanie now. stephanie okay let's run let's see if cursor is still not working no problem shortcut is alter c and compile 
enter compile press any key compile with no errors alter r a l t r run the program my name is stephanie so it is giving you showing you the previous results also my name is nadir my name is tom my name is stephanie all the previous results of the previous execution of your code it is showing you okay we will learn it later if you want to clear the screen first and then it must display only your your name or anything you want to display so please practice what i teach you promise me you will practice please practice practice will make you perfect please practice if you like this if you i will still teach you don't don't close the window now keep watching i will show you some few more things also um but so far if you like the video please give me a thumbs so i know that you like my video um if you are only watching and did not subscribe yet please try to subscribe because if you really liking my video if you subscribe then you will and press the bell icon then you will keep getting notified when every time i upload the new videos then you can keep getting benefited for free i am teaching you so cool stuff for free guys come on please sub subscribe the channel subscribe the channel so you can get yourself up to date with what i am keep on uploading okay subscribe the channel please expand the knowledge you learn today something now teach the knowledge to others how you can teach now to others by sharing my video just share the video so others can also get benefited what you learn today for free so they can also learn for free right and if there is any questions leave the comments i will answer the comments on my next video right okay cool press the key this program is closed now press the window icon i want to exit from this window what i want to do i want to show you something mm -hmm. i want to close this turbo c++ now okay what i want to show you something let's see if i can find it quickly if i can remember we were we installed the turbo c under c turbo c3 okay what i want to find is when you compile your code when you compile your code it creates a file for you a executable file for you you see all all the softwares you've been using usually softwares are can be anything can be like msword.exe remember msword.exe like this.exe lots of so exe is the extension of executable files so you actually today you created your first software it already while we were compiling the code with success it already generated an executable file for you an exe file for you a software for you let's find where it sits that software i think it is in the book if i am correct um, the program name was my name right my name you see my name.cpp my name.cpp is the file the code that we write but where is the executable that i want to find application my name it's not here see i am just showing you everything because i am myself using this uh, c++ after a long time let's say under bgi not here lib not here one of these um, one of the folders supposed to have that projects hello.c <clears throat> not finding it now let's search by type that's all here i wonder where it is it is supposed to be somewhere here I can't find now. I will have to check where to find because it is supposed to be there is another way to find the output. Let's open this again. Just to check that when you will compile your code, where will it save your executable files? So, I think we can find it by let's check what is under change directory. 
directory repository bin project so maybe it is saving under the bin and project just my guess or edit search run you must go through these all options to just learn more what is this all about options this all you must learn see this compiler and all go through with this all to learn more sometimes it can mess up the settings but no problem then you can uninstall and install it again so far no luck excuse me for this i was hoping that i will find for you in the same video because i don't want to pause the video i just want to show you everything what's happening here project empty so for some reason it did not generate the exe file for us which then on the next class i will have to check for you and maybe that might be the next topic that might be the next topic okay guys let me okay so the on next video on next video see sometimes i'm also a human sometimes it can happen i don't have to be a over macho man that to cut this clip to not show my mistake so this is my mistake now i am unable to find where it is saving the executable file the .exe file because you already created your software software and you could see the result but it is not finding the executable file which i will find and then i will mention to you on the next video because now if you keep continue it is taking so long now thank you so much for watching i hope this today's um, class will help you today you write it your first code of c language congratulations guys many many congratulations i wish i could find now that exe file let me check if there is a option of a pause if there is an option of a pause i will find now but now in this my recording of the see this can you see this screen this screen is uh, the software i'm using to um, this is what i was talking about i lots of stuff is happening here you can see this audio recording plus this screen this screen two screens i'm combining then cell phone is playing a role as webcam so so much happening that's why my computer is a little bit acting funny at the moment and there is no option on this software to pause <laughs> so i stop the video then it's all over <laughs> so guys look after yourself look after yourself please uh, try to practice try to follow the instructions how i showed you on the video download turbo c++ um, install it write your first code compile your code execute your code by clicking on the run and then you will see the result of your first program of the c language congratulations the only one last thing is left i need to find where ex i need to find the path where it is saving your result file result.exe file i will find it and i will tell you on the next class thank you so much uh, don't forget to subscribe share comment and like enjoy thank you now i will switch it off i mean close stop stop recording bye bye